um, uh, Madam Solicitor General, I agree with you as to good faith. And raising these issues in a series of speeches on the floor, I have explicitly said that I'm not challenging the good faith of Chief Justice Roberts or Justice Alito. And I understand the difference between sitting at that witness plot and uh, deciding a case in controversy that comes before the court. Uh, but that still leaves us with a problem. Uh, the best answer that uh, uh, a group of senators, uh, we talk about this with some frequency, can come up with, is to uh, put some sunlight on the court. Uh, as I said in my opening statement, the disinfectant that Brandeis talked about, sunlight, the best disinfectant. Well, it's not quite a disinfectant. But I think if uh, the public understood what was happening, there would be a strong temptation to stand by what had been said in these confirmation hearings. And I was really glad to hear you say in response to Senator Cole's questions that you favor televising the Supreme Court. Uh, I think we uh, may be getting closer. Uh, I've been at it for more than a decade with a whole series of bills. And uh, recently, the Judiciary Committee voted out a bill uh, to televise the Supreme Court 13 to 6. And we did it a couple of years ago, 12 to uh, 6. And um, I know it's going to be something the court's going to have to uh, come to, uh, perhaps on its own. Uh, but uh, uh, the uh, public views are uh, uh, increasing. Uh, a poll which was released by uh, C-SPAN just uh, yesterday shows that 63 percent of the American people favor televising the court. And among the 37 percent who opposed, when they were told that people can only be in the Supreme Court uh, chamber for about three minutes, accommodates only a couple hundred people, uh, 60 percent of those 37 percent thought the court should be televised, which brings the total to about 85 uh, percent. I know we don't run the court by public opinion polls, but isn't that fairly weighty as to what uh, the American people would like to, like to know? We talk about uh, a living Constitution and about the Constitution expressing the changing values of our society, as Cardoza said so eloquently in Palco. If the people of this country knew that uh, the court was deciding all of the cutting-edge questions, a woman's right to choose who lives, death penalty cases for juvenile, who dies, affirmative action, who gets into college, freedom of speech and religion. Uh, the American people responded in a poll to Citizens United. Eighty-five percent thought it was a terrible decision. Ninety-five percent thought that corporations made contributions to influence legislators. One of the great problems of uh, uh, the skepticism of the American people about Congress, and is it heavy out there? It's uh, open season on Congress because of uh, uh, so much of what uh, people think about. Well, coming back to the court, wouldn't it be, uh, uh, well, you've already said you're in favor of uh, televising the court, but uh, 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 wouldn't televising the court and information as to what the court uh, does uh, have uh, an impact on the values which uh, are reflected in the American people? I, I do think, Senator Spector, it would be a good thing from many perspectives. And I would uh, hope to, if I'm fortunate enough to be confirmed, to engage with the other Supreme Court justices about that question. I think uh, it's, it's always a good thing when people understand more about government rather than less. And um, uh, I, certainly the Supreme Court is an important institution and one that the American citizenry has every right to, to, to know about and understand. And I also think that uh, uh, it would be a, 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 a good thing for the court itself, that uh, that greater understanding of the court, I think, would redound to its own advantage. So I think from all perspectives, um, uh, televising would be a, a good idea. Now, I recognize that some people, some justices may have views to the contrary, and I would want 
to uh, hear those views and to think about those views. But, 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 but that's sort of my going in thought, which- I uh, will put into the record what uh, the justices have had to say. I've questioned almost everybody about this subject and I've had the opportunity to question all of the people on the court now. Uh, but there's a lot, uh, there are a lot of those who uh, have, have been favorably disposed to it, or at least have acknowledged its inevitability, and remind them that they all appeared on television this year on C-SPAN, and most of them, have, many of them have appeared uh, over the years, uh, selling books and being uh, in a variety of, uh, of situations. It means I'd have to get my hair done more often, Senator Specter. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let, let me commend you on. <laughs> let me commend you on that last comment, uh, and I say that seriously. You have shown a really uh, admirable sense of humor, and uh, I think that is really uh, important. And as uh, Senator Schumer said uh, yesterday, uh, we're looking for somebody who can moderate the court, and a little humor would do him a lot of good. Uh, in the case of Richmond Newspapers versus Virginia, uh, the Supreme Court said in, uh, that a public trial belongs not only to the accused, but to the public and press as well. People now acquire information on court procedures chiefly through the print and electronic media. That's a 1980 decision which upheld the uh, newspaper's rights to be in court and uh, observe a trial. Uh, isn't that some pretty solid precedent uh, uh, to say uh, uh, that as a legal a matter of law, the court uh, uh, ought to have television to have public access because that's the way most people get their information these days? That, that's very interesting, Senator Specter. I had never considered the relevance of that case to the, 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 the televising question, but I think that the certainly the the principles in that case, the values in that case, are about um, uh, the, the, the public's ability to know how our governmental institutions work, which is what's critical to this issue as well.